This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Get 75% off via the link below. Something that's been appearing on an increasingly frequent basis over the past year is reports of games needing to tone down suggestive content to be released on Sony's PlayStation. Rumours from affected developers was that this was due to a new content policy being introduced at Sony that's affecting all games released in not just the West, but also over in Japan. Until now though, this is something that Sony has not officially spoken about or confirmed. In a new interview with the Wall Street Journal, however, a Sony spokesperson not only confirmed this, but also gave some details on why they've decided to make these changes. Sony has said that this is so that creators can offer well-balanced content on the platform, and gaming does not inhibit the sound growth and development of young people. They then add that there has also been some growing concern at Sony that their worldwide reputation could take a hit from certain games released in Japan for Japanese audiences. This seems to be referring to things like anime-style games that, due to the stylized designs, may appear to have young-looking characters, especially to Western eyes and the cultural differences. They then explain that what triggered this new content policy aiming to protect the growth and development of young people were two factors last year. To quote, one was the rise of the Me Too movement in the US, which pointed to the dangers of being associated with content that some might see as demeaning to women. The second was the emergence of channels on sites like YouTube and Twitch, where gamers play in front of a camera and are watched by fans online. This means games meeting Japan's laxist standards can readily get a worldwide exposure. Sony is concerned the company could become a target of legal and social action. The Wall Street Journal reports that while Sony is taking this new direction to protect young people and to avoid potential legal and social issues, Nintendo has said that it does not regulate content released for its platforms. Instead, they leave this to the various age rating systems around the world, as well as its console's own parental control features. Microsoft, however, declined to comment on the matter. Also during the investigation, the Wall Street Journal spoke to more than a dozen people working in key areas of game development, and some have expressed dismay over the new policies. One developer who asked to remain anonymous explained, You don't know what they will say until you complete the work and submit it for review, and if they are not happy, even if they allowed the same degree of sexuality a few days before, we need to take it back and ask our staff to make adjustments. That's very costly. A Sony official said he's aware of these concerns that developers have, but hopes that they will accept the situation. He also said, says, we don't have criteria in written guidelines or that sort of thing because the policy was introduced kind of suddenly in the wake of the Me Too movement. So from everything that's been said in the report, it seems like there were quite a few different reasons for Sony deciding to take this new approach. However, it also appears that what content does and does not violate the guidelines is currently not very clear for developers. A Sony official said that they don't have criteria in written guidelines, and developers have said that content may be allowed one day and might not be the next, and vice versa. This is also despite being introduced nearly a year ago now, which means some developers, and also the gaming community in general, are feeling somewhat confused about the state of affairs. What do you think about the Sony situation? As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and consider subscribing to see more videos on how media is changed around the world. Until next time, thank you for watching.